Hi monkeys and welcome to this edition of Mini Monos TV. We have a great show for you today. Lots of exciting stuff. We're going to start off as we always do with the news. Then we're going to talk about the latest updates to the game. You will have seen if you've been on Mini Monos recently some awesome 4th of July updates. Oh, yeah. We're also going to hear another question answered from Alpha Monkey cool. and Nano Smurf has submitted a great question so we get straight into that. And finally, I have a little surprise. Ooh, Ooh can't on wait. With the show. Let's do it. Hello, monkeys, and welcome to the news for episode six. Alrighty. So we're going to keep it really short in the news this week. Uh, first up in the news, we have some updates in world, and we also have a new area. So that those of you that have been on recently will know about this new area, and I understand there might be a new game in there as well. So, Kyla's got a little bit more on that later in the show. Alright, top monkeys this week in our score sheets. I thought I'd read them out, just so I got them covered. So we have Sundelina, Pie Man, and Tuck. Top the score sheets. So I'm really happy for you monkeys. Well done, all your good work is paying off, and you were our top monkeys this week in each of the three games. Next up, Fan Art Friday. If you haven't seen Fan Art Friday, we've been doing it for a couple of weeks now. Make sure you go on our YouTube channel, Mini Monos TV, and you'll see the YouTube videos on there and the Fan Art Friday video. So if you'd like to send us some Fan Art for Fan Art Friday, send it as a comment or um, on either this video or on our blog or wherever you'd like to send it, send us a link to it. And if it's got your face in it, please remember to have your parents email us. Otherwise, we'll just blur out the face and use the picture. All right, so the last thing. Mini Monos Monkey of the Week is Lewis Ray. Congratulations, Lewis Ray. I really just wanted to say thank you very much. Keep this short and sweet, but Lewis Ray is our Monkey of the Week. And that's all for the news. So um, in this little segment, we're going to cover off some of the updates to the world that we've happened. So, um, Kyla, now you have been away I have. for the 4th of July. So I I'm going to fill in. Over the 4th of July weekend in the US and in New Zealand, which was the 5th for us. Yep, because we're a day getting ahead. A, getting a day ahead, yep. yep. So we had some cool updates. Um, the one that I really liked was not only the fireworks around the campfire, which was yeah. very cool, but also if you had a look around the island... As the waves retreated, there were some little red, white, and blue starfish. And I How thought that was cool. very cool. All right. Let's talk about who. <laughs> okay. Cool. So you monkeys will probably already have noticed our newest game, which mm. is called Tic Tac Poo. And this is at the compost center. And mm. some of you monkeys might be thinking, that's just gross. Why would I want to throw poo around? Well, there's a really good reason why we made this tic-tac-poo game. I'm hoping so, because at the moment this conversation is going downhill. <laughs> well, have you ever noticed that in nature there is no waste? There are no rubbish dumps. There's, there are no trash cans in nature. When you go out into the woods, right, yeah. there's no garbage anywhere. Now that you mention it, you're right. Yeah. The only thing that kind of is, is watering holes. Yeah. But there, there's no... Yeah, but yeah. there's no, you know, there's no rubbish. There's nothing that gets put aside and never gets used again. Yeah. And so what happens is in nature, everything feeds something else, right? Yeah. So what does poo feed? It feeds lots of things. It feeds okay. plants. It okay. feeds um, trees. It yeah. feeds vegetables. It feeds food. So basically, whenever an animal does a poo in the woods, yes. that poo provides nutrition for new things that grow. Ah, I see yeah. where we're going. You see, you thought this was going downhill. You thought this yeah. was going to be a gross I, conversation, yeah. but it's not a gross conversation yeah. at all. So now what happens? What do we do in, um, we talked about uh, compost yes. before, right? So compost is when you take all the organic matter from okay. your kitchen, let's say, all the scraps, yep. leftovers, cut up onions and celery sticks and things like that, yep. and you um, break it down. Yes. So that the nutrition, the nutrients from that organic matter can then feed your veggie garden, let's just say. Yeah. Right? And you said before, how do how does it get broken down? By what do worms. you put by worms? Yeah. What do the worms do? They eat it. And then what? They poop. And then they poop. And the poop from the worms is really nutritious it's good. for when you're trying to grow a garden, right? Yes. Yeah. Now, I have some information here, okay. really interesting information about Sewage. 
Okay. Because have you ever wondered what happens to your poop? It has to be treated and it has to go somewhere. And yeah. sometimes it just gets dumped somewhere because we're not always the best as human beings. We're not always the best at taking things like poop and using them for what they're meant for, which is, you know, to grow other things. Right. But I found this really cool article. Actually, I didn't find it at all. <laughs> Deb, <laughs> Deb <laughs> found it. Claiming <laughs> Deb's article. De yeah. Awesome. Deb, who's Bulla Bulla okay. on Mini Mono, she found it. And she found this really interesting thing about... Um, a sewage treatment plant yes. that can use bugs that break down the sewage. Yes. And the bugs generate power from the process of breaking down the sewage. How cool that's is that? That's my kind of poop bug. I know. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? I'm a, that's awesome. Yeah. So poop uh, is honestly one of the most interesting things in the world. Because it's, it's everything, every living, living thing pretty much does yeah. poop. Yeah, so, of some form or another. Some form or another. So, Every living thing excretes something. And it's got to go around a circle. It does. Otherwise, we would have a world that was only poop because we've all been pooping for hundreds and millions of years. years. Yeah. We would still find dinosaur poop. Yeah, so when you play tic-tac-poo, just remember, you That's are right. feeding the garden. It's good for it. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for enlightening me, Carl. No worries. <laughs>